Hi guys, Morning Brand here again. Yeah, another Morning Brand episode. Wow, that's great. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just kind of been waking up and feeling like recording lately. So you get another one. There you go. But this video today, I wanted to talk about the Lights Out 2.0 because it is uh, infamously a game mode that I personally did not enjoy too much. And for, as far as the community goes, even if you do enjoy Lights Out, a lot of people do seem to think that it is kind of like the odd man out. People love Chaos Shuffle, people like 2v8, people didn't like the 2v8 Q times. But 2v8 itself, like the game mode was fun. But Lights Out seemed to be the odd one out that some people enjoyed, but a lot of people did not. And I was definitely in the a lot of people camp. It felt more like Odd and Killer. I just kind of had to like hang out near the hook because there was not a lot of like tracking. Obviously, that's the whole point of the mode. <laughs> but like the ensuing gameplay uh, did not make me feel too good. It was a little bit more fun on Survivor. I, I, I described this the other day in a way that I think it sounds silly, but makes a lot of sense. <laughs> both, both roles on Lights Out feel like a Scooby-Doo episode and uh, Lights Out on Survivor feels like the, the Scooby-Doo episode part where they're like they're running through the hallways from the ghost and they're like going in and out of one hallway out the other and then suddenly they're hiding in the pots so, you know funny stuff like that it's like Survivor is a lot more jumpy it actually feels more like a horror game which is cool and then you have Killer which is the Scooby-Doo part of the episode where Velma loses her glasses and goes Survivors I can't find my survivors <laughs> um so yeah, uh, let's very long intro aside. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So I came to the understanding that lights lights out 2.0 is basically the same as it was before. So based on how you felt about it before, uh, the changes they made to it are not incredibly significant. Um, I feel like on killer, if you are not running somebody who has some sort of like natural tracking ability, like Legion, Doctor, Xenomorph, uh, even the like Ghostface and Myers are fun because they have like the stock ability, which allows you to see people far away. There's plenty of times I was playing uh, Myers uh, yesterday uh, where I was stalking somebody I literally could not see. <laughs> so I was like, oh, hey, there's somebody over there, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but um, realistically, if you're playing any other character, uh, you have to kind of hang out around the hook or hang out uh, or if you're playing any other character, realistically, you have to do a lot of camping and tunneling. Not a lot, okay, because people are going to be like, wow, I can't believe you said that. I don't camp and tunnel. Okay, okay. All right, do you want a cookie or something? I'd say it's the more efficient thing to do. Is that better? It's the more efficient thing to do to just stick by the survivors you know where they are, because if you miss out on them, they may just be gone for the rest of the game, because this is the stealth game mode. I will say it is slightly better because of the candelabras that have been introduced into the game. Uh, but survivors are already learning to leave the candelabras behind to avoid being tracked because the survivors have very quickly realized that killers prioritize chasing you if you have one in your hand because, well, they can actually see you. <laughs> and if they hit you and you go behind like two or three different walls, they still know where you are because you can see the glow through the wall. So a lot of survivors are ditching these. Um, also, I've been seeing survivors even start to, like, abandon the whole, like, put the candelabra on the gen thing, because that also highlights which gen they're on from super far away. Like, basically, a lot of the things that are meant to, like, help the survivor when it comes to the lighting effect, the lighting system, <laughs> kind of helps killer, realistically. It helps you chase better. It helps killer see from far away which gens are being worked on. Um, so I, I feel like survivors are start already starting to get the, 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 the inkling that that is the case, and they're starting to, like, you know play around that but for now it, it's kind of like lights out for me personally went from like a c minus mode that i'm really not interested in playing to like a c plus like it's okay which i believe is ultimately what i ended up saying at the end of the last one too maybe it's not really an upgrade i, I, that's, I think that's what i said at the end of the other uh video i made when lights point lights out 1.0 was out was uh, it's okay <laughs> no no definitely not made for me, but it's okay. My best advice for you, if you're trying to do your challenges on killer, is just to play killers that have built-in tracking, like Legion, Doctor, Xenomorph, etc. Stalking killers are, like I said, fun, because they kind of have, like, soft tracking and the fact that they can stare at people from far away. Um, also, uh, you don't have to constantly activate your stealth ability to have stealth, because you just naturally have it. So you can focus more on, you know, 99ing people as Ghostface, or... 99ing your power as Myers. You know, it makes those characters that already aren't too fun a little bit more easy breezy, which is nice. Very nice. But when I found when I tried to play killers that had like a higher skill uh, ceiling, uh, <laughs> where missing is already very punishing, it was rough in this game mode, dude. 
it was rough in this game mode because now because like previously previously in the like the normal mode you miss a shot you still see where the survivor is going you just follow them down and attempt the shot again right but in this mode in lights out mode since like you know it's just a big stealth mode uh for both sides let's make that clear you can miss a shot and if you have like a long cooldown they could just be gone <laughs> they could just they could just end up like in the dark somewhere and you don't end up finding them and they're just gone so like try to play characters that uh would not get super severely punished by missing um because the punishment is a little bit higher in lights out mode because they might just get away entirely for survivor i actually like the survivor role in this mode more than on killer because it's more tense it's more exciting you ever know when the killer's just gonna show up out of nowhere, no matter who they are? Like, I kept getting jump scared by a legion <laughs> the other day. And I was like, why am I? I have never thought of any of those four members of the legion as any way intimidating. And I'm just going, oh gosh, what, were you there the whole time? <laughs> which was cool. Um, I, I do think I miss a lot of things that I personally find fun about Survivor, which is looping. Because yeah, obviously you don't get that. Um, Unless you're working on a gen that is already inside of a loop, you you don't get the same sense of being able to kind of plow your route of where you're going to loop. Like, okay, there's a four lane over there. That's a path out between that and the next tile. I'm going to run that. There's none of that because you, you obviously you can't see it. <laughs> so you kind of have to like figure it out on the fly. But that's not why you play the mode. You play the mode for the, oh gosh, I didn't know that guy was around the corner. Ah, so that was fun. And I did have more fun on the survivor roll than I did on the killer roll in this mode, which is weird because usually I prefer killer and most aspects also no blood point incentives <laughs> i i'm i'm in the process of p100ing uh ellen ripley and i had been even before the rain skin came out but when the rain carotene skin came out i was like we are speed running that right now there's like no blood points in smoke because you can't bring blood point offerings so there's no offerings in this mode um and there's no incentive so you're just like missing out on blood points you, like you would objectively just be getting more blood points playing the normal mode so if you're not all about lights out 2.0 like you're just missing out on blood points for no reason, <laughs> which is kind of sucky. I will say, I think it's really, really funny because I have never had such a polarizing experience playing this game than when I'm playing Lights Out 2.0. Like there were some moments where I was playing like, I, I was playing a, like a, a Myers game where I was doing the thing I was talking about, where I was like stalking people from, from like out of their line of sight, but technically like right near them. Um, and it felt really cool. Like, you know, like Halloween is my favorite horror movie. Aliens is my favorite horror franchise, but singular movie, Halloween. Super cool. I actually felt like Myers, which is not something I've been able to say since I probably first started playing the game and all my survivors were dumb. <laughs> uh, and it leads to a lot of why I stopped playing the character, because he's just so mechanically simple that I can't uh, I can't do a whole lot to outsmart the survivors besides bring tombstone piece. And then I start feeling bad the other way because I'm like, well, I didn't really earn that. I just kind of stared at him, <laughs> you know? Um, but it actually was nice to feel like Myers for once. It was pretty cool. Um, and then I would have games where, like, I would play a character that was a little bit, like, harder to... Like, it was a little bit more punishing to miss with somebody like Unknown, for example. And I would just, like... It would just feel like literally the worst experience I've ever had playing this game. Like, playing a character that where it's punishing to miss in this mode, I, I, I felt like I actively wanted to uninstall. Like, I... I have, I did not enjoy this. It was probably my least favorite experience I've had in the game in, in recent memory. I'm like, wow. So now I just missed. And now you're just like, you're because you're not injured, you're, you, you're just gone. Like, you don't have the candelabra. I missed a, a punishing attack. And now you're just like, there's three different options of whatever tile you went to. And there's no way for me to tell. <laughs> it's just, ah, gosh, it was, it was, I hated it. I hated it. And I think there's also a lot of, a lot of the reason people love lights out is because there's no OP perks. And may I direct you to the wonderful, wonderful world of Chaos Shuffle, which is coming back at the end of this month, which does the same thing while still giving you perks, but doesn't hamper either side. Right there, it's coming. Yeah, overall, did I enjoy Lights Out 2.0 more than Lights Out 1.0? Yeah, not by a whole lot. It, it's kind of, it's one of those things I feel like it's, it, it's not made for everybody. Yeah, it's just, it's just not made for everybody. 
and I don't think I'm the target audience. Like, obviously, the thing I love the most about DVD is chase and chasing people. And this is more of the hide and seek, the mode. And obviously, if you don't like that in the game, you are uh, the spawn of Satin, according to most of the Dead by Daylight community. That's an exaggeration. I'm making a joke. Let's make that very clear. But yeah. Uh, anytime I bring up that I don't like stealthing, personally, not saying objectively it's bad for the game, it's an unhealthy game. I think it's unhealthy for the game in some ways, as of like, you know, it leads to the killer tunneling the same people if somebody's good at stealthing. But it's just not a gameplay style I enjoy, it, and I I don't think it's very good for the game, personally. But that's just my opinion. It's just it's my, it's my YouTube channel, so... Uh, it's just not for me. Lights out 2.0, it's not for me. It was fun to be able to play, like, Ghostface and Myers and, like feel like a killer again <laughs> but i mean other than that yeah that's about it yeah what do you guys think about lights out 2.0 did you think it's an improvement or do you think it's just kind of the same let me know down in the comments below but then that's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching but other than that i'll see you tomorrow in this video but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye <laughs>